Do you want to know how to use trademarks and copyrights to protect your business? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about trademarks and copyrights, the differences, how to use them, and also some free resources we'll give you at the end. So let's start first with trademarks. What are trademarks? Trademarks just identify kind of who you are, your brand. Uh, the easiest example to give you is Nike. The trademarks for Nike are the swoosh. You see those on the shoes, you know exactly who made that product. They just do it as part of their trademarking. And then the word Nike. They have a bunch of others, obviously. But uh, looking at Drafted Legal, our trademark is our name. So Drafted Legal is a filed, registered trademark. So what that trademark does is basically uh, prevent other people from copying you, looking like you, and in other words, tricking the public into thinking that you're the same. And sometimes it's not tricking, it's, a, it's an accident. Someone might look on Google and think that you know, you're know you someone legally drafted or something like that and just be confused. So the idea of granting trademarks are to make sure consumers know who they're buying from. So. I'm gonna send you to another video to show you exactly how to pick your name. Click here and you'll be able to learn exactly uh, how to avoid picking the wrong name and then what to do to register the trademark. The short of it is, is you need to make sure that you have your name is available and then you need to go protect that name because what if you look on Instagram one day or YouTube or you know, a website and someone has a name that looks just like yours and people who are desiring to come to you are also are accidentally going uh, to that other competitor. The other thing is in the, you know, the rise of online businesses, there's a lot of uh, not accidental, but intentional copycats. You know, people who are trying to pretend to be you just to, you know, like steal your clients, basically, you know, fraudulently pretending to be you. Having a trademark will help you go to the, uh, to the host or the, um, whoever's hosting the website, and you can go and say, hey, look, this is me, you need to take it down, I have a trademark. So that's what trademarks are. They protect your brand, your logo, your, your uh, tagline, and they tell the world who you are, and, and uh, so there's a lot of clarity among consumers. The second thing we're gonna talk about are copyrights. This is uh, really important for bloggers, painters, photographers, uh, writers. Uh, the difference between copyright and trademark there's a couple of things. The first is what the copyright protects. The copyright protects, you know, your expression of things like a, a painting would be protected in that exact form. If you write a poem, those exact words would be protected. If you did a blog, those exact words would be protected. But the ideas in them wouldn't be, you know, there's throughout novels, there's similar in, you know, ideas from one to the other. Uh, but it's protecting basically from plagiarism and exact copyright. So if someone were to cut and paste your blog articles or basically rip off your content, you would use a copyright to enforce that against them or to sue them for infringement. This is something that rarely happens accidentally. It's more of a very intentional, oh, these, uh, you know, this blog is great. I'm going to go put it on, on mine. So you will use that. And the best way to do it is to put a copyright notice on everything you are creating on an online course, on blogs, on uh, ebooks, anything that you create, make sure you put a copyright notice. Go to draftedlegal.com and see ours at the bottom. You'll put that exact format, is exactly how you're supposed to do it. The other thing with a copyright is you actually have inherent copyright rights. So if you went to a lawyer and said, hey, they stole my blog, you could still say you're under copyright and uh, you have copyright protection. The shortcoming with that is that you have to register the copyright to actually sue them. So you're not losing rights by not registering it. You still, as the author, once you put it down, you know, they call it a fixed medium, but once you paint the picture, once you write the book, once you write the poem, once you write the blog and publish it and put it down, you have protection. So you don't, don't feel like you have to go uh, register every single copyright. Now, it is a good idea if you have very valuable workbooks, things like that with your online course to go ahead and register them so that if someone takes them, again, you can use that and you're ready to go and say, hey, we're going to you know, see you for infringement. I hope that's very helpful. So trademarks are your brand, copyrights, more your work. They're both important tools to protect your business. There's a huge rise of stealing things online. So everything you can do to fortify your business against people who are gonna steal them so that you have everything you need to, to protect them and get them to take it down. 
uh, is a great idea. The free resources I talked about, go to draftedlegal.com slash start and you will see a, uh, an ebook with four important legal steps. So please use those resources. Go to draftedlegal.com for LLCs, templates, anything else you might need. And shoot us any questions or drop comments below and we'll be happy to help. Best of luck building your business.